Hello everyone and welcome to ICMP's first Common Ground Series episode. Uh, I am Monday and I'm here this evening with Joy and Keegan. So we have some beautiful renditions of Emily Sunday's Breaking the Law, Jasmine Sullivan's Pick Up Your Feelings. It hasn't started yet. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan's Pick Up Your Feelings. Um, so some of your favorite ICMP friends um, are performing these songs. Um, cool. So it's essentially the Common Ground series. It's something we came up with and we are hopefully going to Hello, hello, hello. I know we're all feeling sad because we cannot be at a live music event at the moment, but I promise you this is as close as we can get to performing live. Yes, you heard me, performing live. Um, do not feel restricted to your sits. If you love the music, you get up and you dance. You get up and you dance. This is a song I wrote for a project of mine called Fun Corona. It's called Funky Frankie. Yes, Funky Frankie, episode one. I'm as of pace, and we are the Funky Tomatoes. Enjoy listening. Hey, yo, Paul. Give me that funky bass. Lorenzo, you want to help him out? Give me that funky clave.
Toes in the sand, use the sleeves on my sweater. Let's have an adventure. Head in the clouds, but my gravity center. Touch my neck, and I'll touch yours. You and those little high waisted shorts. So oh. she knows what I think about. I wanna think about one love, one love, one love, one house. No shirt, no blouse, just us, you find out. Not what I wanna tell you about, no Cause it's too cold For you here And now, so let me hold Both your hands in The holes of my sweater And I might just take your breath away I don't mind if there's not much to say Sometimes the silence guides the mind It moves to a place so far away, yeah The goosebumps start to raise Minute that my left hand meets your waist Then I watch your face Put my finger on your tongue Cause you love the taste, yeah These hearts adore Everyone the other beats hearts for Inside this place is warm Outside it's our support Coming down One love, two mouths One love, one house No shirt, no blouse Just us, you find out Nothing that I wouldn't want to tell you about, no no, no, cause it's too cold
like being on the outside of an inside joke. It's like when they only got Pepsi and you really want Coke. It's like when you finally get a text back and it's just your mom. It's like when you just broke up and they play your song. I know they said it's kinda stupid, but it's just the way I'm feeling right now. And I hate that I can tell that someone's probably in my shoes by now. I know she's thinking that she found herself a winner. I bet you fucked her on the counter right before you got to dinner. Yeah, I know you think about me when you kiss her. I left a taste in your mouth, but she tastes me now. And she threw out all our furniture and pictures. I bet you should have got the truth. I bet you're real sweet with her. I know you think about me when you kiss her. I left a taste in your mouth, but she tastes me now. I But I've been acting different, yeah Funny how I finally flipped the script on ya Me, you're the one who leveled different, yeah Used to slap me how I got you slipping up You're up the least Run me my keys No more puffing up to him, yeah You ain't even got the mouth to chip on ya New phone, who is this? Brand new, like the whip Rack it up, no assist Main bitch, I ain't average Wake up, need a zip Hennessy, take a sip my jeans, I'm too thick, I ain't got the room for extra baggage, don't forget to come and pick up your hoof, feel it, yeah, don't need no pieces, you need to hurry and pick up your own, oh, oh, feel it, yeah, while I'm up in it, for peace, and I don't need it, all memories, and all that shit, Listen, I'm listening Just for you to go and my heart again 
guys. Um, thanks for listening. My name is Balint Eckhart, and um, I'm going to play you a couple more songs. The next song is called um, Sw Swimmer. After the party, we ran out to the airfield where they walk the dogs. Waiting for the sunrise over your mom's house, didn't see you from. Just a clumsy beginner and being alone. I still check the mirror for you. An empty chair, a cashmere sweater, and your face on my phone. You take the best bits, take all the hard times, the winds that I might have been. Take anything, I'll take. Whenever I'm crossing a road 
You take the best bits Take all the hard times The winds and the minor bends Take anything I'll take the leftovers You take the title Take all the sweat And the laughter to friend And the rival I'm in for survival I'll take the leftovers I'll take the part of me that is so in you My old flip phone that we tore into The moments when I had no clue And the old cliché says they all came true The valley can be overkill The cartoon house upon the hill With ears and boxes and a water bill And a vacuum I might never feel A family's that will never meet Stack of self-help magazines A picture when we're seventeen And a guy that I will never be And a night that I will never sleep And a stupid little evergreen with all the spikes And a foreign cities we'll never see Thanks for listening and uh, thank you ICMP for the invitation. All right. So I would say we've had some amazing performances from yeah. Valen, Nisha, Asaf and Jeannie. And we're going to start off with a little interview. We are here with the amazing Jeannie and Shah. Um, Jeannie, obviously, is a singer, as we've seen now. But they are also a producer and a mix engineer. And Shah, obviously, a singer who's going to be performing later, a DJ as well. And I must say also a dancer. That's all right. So I was just wondering, in light of like um, International Women's Day in this month, um, women uh, in the industry um, have influence um, your sound and why? Go for it. Can really hear. Oh, I'm not sure if they can hear us. We can hear you, Gina. Okay. Um, I'd say for me, Saint Vincent, hundred percent, because she's so experimental, and her guitar playing is definitely influenced. And she always has like dark and easy undertones, and that definitely carries through my music. I feel she's definitely one for me for sure. The same. I, I mean, I love her. I mean, because I do have influences are very. Andrew <laughs> Michaels and Herbert Ellis, they're very, like, a completely different. I love their songwriting. They're to just express their feelings. And I think that I just found out about recently. She's. Sorry, no, I've never heard of St. Vincent. St. Vincent, I mean, over Ireland, but you know, I will check out St. Vincent. But I would say, I mean, I've sung her song, but Jasmine Sullivan is a person I'm looking at. I'm going to do in outside of music for women, so that's really, really good. So I have a question for Shah, um, and this question is that you produce and you are a DJ and you love to dance and DJ, um, and so do you feel that there are any forms of pressure within your field as a female DJ in the industry now, and, and 
So how do you how are you breaking those barriers? How do you feel that you know the stereotype and you know just feel Oh, that's a loaded question, Joy. That's an amazing oh question. <laughs> 11 out of 10 for that question. I think the pressure is is immense. I think the pressure was... I, I, I didn't even realize that there was some pressure that was consistently avoiding it. So I've, I've learned how to DJ in 2007. Don't want to tell you how old I am. But I've just avoided it consistently. And, and I, wasn't, I was wondering why. And I think because it was this untouched glory land boys but I didn't even realize that I was thinking this consciously not like, oh it's for boys I'm not a boy therefore it's not for me it's a subconscious subliminal thing because you don't see someone that looks like you remotely like you doing doing that therefore in your, your head probably I, I was um coming to ICMP and just playing around you know and 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 i took it as oh i'm just trying something out um and i have been told that i'm the token asian person oh you're the token female on the lineup you're the token asian chick on the lineup and a part of me before was very aggravated about that but you know what i the thing is there's there's so much that needs to be done and me being aggravated by it isn't going to help so if that gets my foot in the door me being a token Asian, token, token female, so be it. And then let's just show them that, that whoever these people are, that you know, there's there's space for everyone. You know, like we're doing this thing now. Telling someone meeting a performer for this event, like a piece of pie that we're all clamoring for there is space for us and the more that we're out there women like Jeannie and Nisha and all of us you know it's it's so important to really tell you how important it is I wish I saw someone who looked a bit more like me you know doing doing things I think I'll tell you I'm 33 this year so maybe I would have started a lot earlier if if I saw, if I saw somebody you know but you know better late than better better late than never. So in terms of dealing with the pressure, I think that's the pressure is always going to be there. But you know, life is going to be hard whether you're doing something that you love or whether you're doing something that you don't like. It's going to be very challenging anyway. So my is to do something that brings you true joy. It's gonna be hard, man. So do something joy to you and to others and then see where that lands i don't really know where it's it step by step so yeah I agree with you, I resonate what she said i think the importance of representation is is very powerful so yeah yeah totally yeah but that was wicked you should continue preaching that you go girl and uh yeah i was just wondering for genie obviously um obviously with all your amazing skills that I've seen and everybody has witnessed um, producing, electronic music, performance, songwriting. Um, I just wanted to ask you, um, how do you feel? How do you feel like? Um, how, how do you feel women or females are represented in the music industry today? And do you think it could be improved? Or how do you, how would you think that it should improve? Yeah, and in order women get more representation in the industry the groundwork really has to be put in and that's taking action and being the influence that you wish that you would have had um like if there continues to be little space for women then we've just got to make our own space like build our own systems to push towards that equality and that can be building our own teams sharing knowledge with everyone and anyone use your voice and surround yourself with talented and eager individuals regardless of gender race social background anything um, and I think also acknowledging this current systems disparities is important but not feeling trapped in them because we can change them um, and just don't seek validation measure success on your own terms like work hard and be kind that's that's all you can do really I think yeah yeah get a name in front of 
Feel free. <laughs> okay. In relation to the lockdown, obviously in a lockdown for a while, too long. Well, we're still going through it actually. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just dreaming of somewhere already. Um, I wanted to ask you guys as creatives, um, how would you say the um, lockdown, you know, world climate has influenced your art and what you guys are currently creating your projects? Feel free to take any one of these for both of you. I'll go ahead. So I'll get it out of the way. <laughs> I was crying before this poll. And I know it's like, oh, ooh, gross. Thing is, it's hard around us. Maybe um, it's it's tough in different re in different ways. We've never we've never had this before. So we don't know how to deal with this. Anyone who says that they know how to that's great, but for the most part, I think we're all just taking it day by day. And we don't really know the repercussions. And some of it's amazing. I think we've had time to really assess where we want to, what we want to do, where, where we want to do it, how we want to do it. But at the same time, I think compassion is so important. Like I'm stroking my like, it's okay, it's okay. Like it's okay if you're not achieving things. It's okay if you're not, like if you're not running ahead of the race, you are in your own race. You're doing your own thing and and take care of yourself. In terms of music, I think um, I think it's it just proved to me that you know we are doing something so important. People are listening to music, like watching movies. These are and what we're doing what we're doing is important. We're not just kind of accessories. I'm sure we we knew that, but now more than ever. Um, I see that more and more. Um, some days are more difficult, like today for me. But um, but yeah, being around you all, like what Jeannie said earlier, being around people who are, you know, enthusiastic, eager, and and doing amazing things. Inspire. I was really feeling quite crappy, and, and now watching everybody, I'm like, yeah, you know. So yeah. <laughs> You are a producer and everything yeah. you want. Yeah. It's very hard, I think, and the illness. It's been shocking. You know, I'm lucky in that my work never really stopped because as a producer, I'm always in a dark room in my bedroom, just like with my headphones on 24 7. Um, so I've had some great opportunities to reach out to some amazing female uh, artists actually who go to ICMP and had some great opportunities to collaborate and I think that's collaboration is always an important thing to just remember that you're not alone and you've got these people yeah well I think it's great yeah so, so sharing with each other physically present but we are sharing, you know, something that we love. So I think, you know, the sense of community at least is there. So one thing yeah. I will say is the pandemic makes all this really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All that. But um, so next up we have Kayamba with some beautiful, beautiful music. So um, guys, do you need and shall? Thank you.
Now they step black music straight to your soul music listen to the struggle listen to the pain it's all over the media i know what makes you feel uncomfortable ain't nothing comfortable about the pain too many lives lost it's fucked up in the white man world i gotta kill him with the kindness we've been systematically oppressed for too long too damn complacent i hope this shit makes you feel uncomfortable yeah i'm tired of people telling me how to feel we in the 21st century but niggas still dying mama still crying shit been going on for too long too young to remember rodney king but old enough to remember trayvon george really sparked the change and i can feel the tears rolling down my eyes as i write this too much pain too much fear we living like this found my voice i said i'm tired of living like this this that black music yeah black and proud type of music the shit james brown used to make us feel martin king and doctor really died for this shit yeah I said they really die for this shit. Yeah, they really die for this shit. But this shit needs to change. I'm really hoping that this shit gon' change. I'm really hoping that this shit gon' change. I'm really hoping that this shit gon' change. This shit gon' change for a better day. I'm really hoping that this shit gon' change. I'm really hoping that this shit gon' change. I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, the shit gon' change for a better day, yeah. I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, the shit gon' change for a better day, yeah. I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, I'm really hoping that the shit gon' change, the shit gon' change for a better day. Yeah, I had a vision, yeah 
Going crazy up in my brain. Are we on fire? And this is Sarah singing now. I'll sing with her. I've been chasing all this commotion. Reckless, I run in the open. I'm burning brighter and brighter. I'll take me higher. You know how to pull me deeper again Is it desire? I've been going crazy up in my brain Are we on fire? Showing the best of Eddie Goma through ICMP's 
Common Ground series, which I am incredibly proud to be a part of. I would like to present to all of you my band, Eddie Lucian, as you can see in front of me. <laughs> Consisting of um, three guitars and one keyboardist. Now, the next song that I would like to do for you is a song called Complique. It's a song I wrote back when I was 19 years old, and I don't think anything's changed from there. But I thought I'd pull this one out the back for you guys. Here we go. Rhythm. Count me in. I in a bar in my mind when it comes to thinking about you I don't want to think of anything else cause I want to be with you I do I don't want to play games or walk in shame I just want to be so strong Because a single day about you doesn't feel so right cause I feel so wrong And I don't know why every day I feel I'm missing you I don't know why all I dream about is kissing you I don't know why it's so hard to say It's like a mirage it goes away it's so complicated In my mind it's complicated In my heart it's complicated In my soul it's complicated I just wanna say sorry for all the guys that have hurt you before I know you got no faith no more but I'll bring it back to you I'm sure You're my only desire and when you're mine you'll be top priority but it feels so long Now the time is right for you and I to be And I don't know why Every day I feel I'm missing you I don't know why All I dream about is kissing you I don't know why It's so hard to say It's like a mirage It goes away It's so complicated is complicated in my soul is complicated in my heart is complicated so the guitar give it to them Nako bate la bowling on ngai kaka pona yo. Nako zela pona mokolo moko na koko tayo na paradiso ya tondresse. Pona lingi kona kisa yo nyo so na ngai. Bana jumo komi so na ngai talisio. Olongoli bese pona kati amoli mona nga. Yo zali tina zali sala ki boasi na mokili yo yo pona yo. Si la ngai koti kala na to passe You know, that song I didn't even get to finish yet Time is going and I don't want to take too much of it, you see. Look, um, sorry I had to cut your soul off like that. I know it was sounding really good, but, you know. Oh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I mean, at least everyone gets a small taste of what home sounds like, right? I mean, Solo is right. I mean, this is about showing your culture, isn't it? I mean, think about it. Ah, uh, that's true. How about, no, I have another. How about we do one last song? Just to show what we're really capable of. Yeah? 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 Oh, okay. Because I didn't hire you guys for nothing. You know how much money I had to pay for you guys to be here tonight? Uh? Oh, you musicians don't come cheap. <laughs> Am I lying? Anyway, rhythm. You know the drill. <laughs> To conclude this repertoire, I would like 
like to present to you a cover of Cheerleader by Obi. Solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah, she is always in my corner. Right there where I wanna. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone. And they say, Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, No, not really, cause who am I? I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there. My wish is like a genie in a bottle Yeah, yeah I'm the wizard of love And I've got this magic wand All the other girls are tempting But I'm empty when you're gone And they say, do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really Cause, oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She is always right there when I need to Clarice Gay's tattoos and Vicky Bishop, two wonderful women that are great at their craft. And Diletta Brusin, the woman that made me this wonderful jacket, sending love to you all. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there. Thank you very much. Beautiful, like I'm shaking my shoulders right now. <laughs> Yeah. 
Girl, dance away, seriously. Guys, very soft vocals, you would say, we would say, and very elegant piano playing. Um, and of course, after that, we had uh, Nisha, my fellow peer, actually, and crazy powerhouse vocals. And she's a singer songwriter uh, on her own. You should go check her out. Um, beautiful R&B runs all day. And last but definitely not least, the man himself. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> my guy is like multi-instrumentalist he's just good at everything like everything so if you guys have not followed them on social especially instagram please go check them out they're always there and you'll be in for a treat with that said i've got a pretty good question i mean just a question i guess <laughs> yeah for both Nisha and i was what what and what do you face in the music industry today, as what do you think there are there are barriers that women still face in the music industry today? Um, yeah, free, both of you, whatever. Um, well, I'd say although music, of course, it plays a massive part in the music industry. So does image, and I feel that for women particularly, image is taken into account so so much. You know, like hair, how our body is is obviously revealing. And you know what's good is that we see a lot of like current artists such as for instance Rihanna who are helping to um, embrace difference through things like her Fenty brand and through like I think she did a Fenty show the other day. And so, so we know that there's women of all different shapes and all different races and all different sexualities and it's something to embrace something to look on. And I would say as a woman stepping into the music industry I want to feel that I can wear what I want without getting backlash from things of even um, think about women in music. Sometimes we focus so much on the visual aspects, and people want to listen with their eyes rather than to focus, you know, listen through their ears and to listen to focus on what they hear. But that's my. I agree. I agree with that. Do you have anything to add, Kamba? Um, yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like there is a lot of um, judgment among women because they do to express. Them. Um, um, lyrics that you sing, things that you incorporate in your songs. Um, so that's why I feel like it's important to remain true to myself and express myself in the way I feel and how it works. Right? Um, yeah, definitely. Cool. Like any barriers both of you face personally? Doing, you know, music. There any challenges, you know? I don't feel as though I face many challenges just because um, I think it's right now, is it going to be feasible? that in the back of the mind. Um, yeah, I think also there's mostly men uh, producers. Um, I feel like um, I think that's I guess. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I and I guess even the way they carry themselves, right? Uh, it seems almost like uh, they need to actually behave or look a certain way in order to maintain a space for themselves in the industry. So, so I was just wondering, um, what ways do you think women are now challenging that within the industry? Um, so I think that now there's more 
women like dressing how they want, like for example, um, now they're like they're promoting like female empowerment, not just in a sexual way, but like just to um you know image um, we're expressing that we all are straight yeah. yeah. let us have our shoulders out <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have been for Asa, Mr. Funky Tomato. So we saw your videos, and I really want to know how you got all these musicians that I wasn't actually expecting to see in your piece. Like, shout out to Simba, by the way. Yeah, but like, Simba. great tell drummer. Us, tell us how you know. Let us know. Um, so you know, it wasn't easy. You know, since I got the the um, the invite from joy i was like oh what do i actually do you know it was like it just came all of a sudden and i had like if i remember well two weeks to prepare for everything and, and you know i just reached out to a couple of my friends you know we're at ICA. and i reached out to them like yeah we have this i have this project that i want us to if I want us to do this and obviously I had to include the project that was that I'm currently um, starting which is the Funky Tomatoes as you can see I've got the shirt um, buy one from my website if you love it um, <laughs> we did we did that and and it worked pretty well it's like the first episode of uh, the project to, you know to, um, to go on the journey on you know and and yeah it went really good and I I personally didn't expect that but you know it's, it is what it is it is music you know you just need to experiment and do stuff and obviously collaborate with the right people everyone I collaborated with they they actually know they're really good at their craft and that even helped me to 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 put everything together even better and shout out to everyone Vanya, Paul on the bass um, Vera, Joanna, um, Lorenzo on the guitar, Lady Lucci, Ludovica, some Sinjato, you know, um, everybody, uh, my brother as well on the guitar. From the next song you're going to see. Yeah. Um, shout out to every one of them. They were really amazing. <laughs> and yeah, that was the story. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, well, um, we do have another question for you guys. It is, you know, so as you, Kemba, Nisha, and Asa, you know, we're all black people here. As black musicians, you know, has that had, like obviously with the current time, what's been going on and everything, has that had an influence on your sound so far? Or would you say that it's just something that you haven't, you know, I mean, anyone. Yeah. I mean, I guess my black culture anyway, I'm, I, I take from black culture and from black music, you know, because there's all different sort of genres that are created by black people and sparks from black movements and black people. So that's influenced what I do and influenced how I choose think about my artistry, I would say. So I do put two and two together because I think it's important to acknowledge um how much black people have done for the arts industries and for the music yeah. 
do you feel like this that has empowered you as a young musician today yeah because i think it's nice to see like this and the first like that and so it's really empowering young woman woman yes <laughs> yes woman <laughs> Oh, my mic turned off. Yeah, but that, that was all I had to say on that. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. Um, so, you know, this is us, you know, signing out. Is, um, you know, again, with the lovely Daniel, um, his brother on the guitar. So, also, guys, there is a link underneath this video. For, it is comic relief today. So, feel free to donate to the children in need. That is important. I actually just wanted to thank everyone who tuned in for this yeah. first episode. Um, yeah. yeah, I was, and I'm, I'm still very nervous. It's the first one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we did it. So. It's only gonna get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The only yeah. one is up. So. Take it away again. Peace. <laughs>